السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی ور ڈسکسنگ تھائرائڈ ڈیزیز اینڈ ان مائی پریویس آڈیو آئی ٹولڈ یو اباؤٹ کلینیکل فیچرس آف ہائپر تھائرائڈزم اینڈ ہائپو تھائرائڈزم اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو ڈفرینشیٹ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا کلینیکل فیچرس آف گریوز ڈیزیز اوکے دا دیر آر فور فیچرس آف گریوز ڈیزیز لائک دا آئی ڈیزیز پیشنٹس کین ہیو اینی آئی مینیفیسٹیشنس دے آر مینی دس آئی ول ڈسکرائب ناؤ and diffuse goiter, thyroid acropeshi and pre-tibial myxedema, right? Uh, so, the graves of thalmopathy which is called and this is hallmark of graves disease and uh, 30% of patients can have this eyes involvement along with it and uh, involvement is uh, bilateral usually. So, what sort of ice involvement can be number one patients can have periorbital puffiness periorbital oedema and chemosis which is conjunctival oedema right then number two patients can have exophthalmos what is exof exophthalmos and uh, proptosis so in exophthalmos it is there is uh, where actually there is protrusion of the eyeball such that sclera is visible above the lower lid with the eyes in the neutral position right this is exophthalmos you you got it the sclera is visible below the like lower lid okay like uh, if you if you ask patient to look straight forward sclera will be visible if you see the lower lid between the iris and lower lid sclera is visible this is called exophthalmos and proptosis Again, I told you, you will look it from the sides, right? And uh, the eyeball will be protruded out. Then there can be, you can find ophthalmoplegia. And uh, usually there is complex ophthalmoplegia in graves of thalmopathy. Uh, like patient will have diplopia in multiple directions. Uh, and initially it is in the, due to inferior rectus muscle involvement and patients have on upward gaze diplopia, okay? But patients can have diplopia in multiple direction. Then there can be uh, corneal ulcers or keratitis, then optic nerve can be affected, right? And uh, for this check visual equity, color vision and RAPD. But in exam check visual equity, this will be enough. And uh, offer fundoscopy in the end. to the examiner but not, do not performed okay and uh, because it can lead to optic atrophy right and uh, now these are these were the clinical uh, eye graves or thalmopathy features then i told you uh, pre tibial myxedema and uh, this is uh, skin manifestations of the leg and uh, it happens in the graves disease and uh, it occurs after 1 to 2 years after the diagnosis and treatment of hyperthyroidism and almost all patient with dermopathy have ophthalmopathy okay and uh, dermopathy usually starts after the onset of ophthalmopathy after 6 to 12 months okay and what happens in it there are bilateral firm non pitting plaques that may have pink purple or brown appearance and they appear on the anterolateral aspects of the lower thighs mostly and may be on thighs just remember this this is enough and then thyroid acropeshi as i explained and uh, this is digital clubbing actually and subperiosteal new bone formation and it may lead to total loss of hand function and then check the neck for the goiter and in graves this is usually there is diffuse goiter but you may found a nodular goiter as well but diffuse enlargement is most common right so these were the clinical features of uh, graves disease now there are some things very important with it with the patient with the graves disease they can be euthyroid hypothyroid and hyperthyroid as i explained you before how euthyroid because patients have been given treatment like radio therapy uh, after thyroidectomy and uh, now they with adequate thyroxine replacement and now so they are you thyroid their thyroid hormones are controlled uh, you you got my point like patient was having graves disease he was hyperthyroid but he was treated by thyroidectomy and by radio iodine therapy and later on he was replaced with thyroxine and thyroxine was being replaced in adequate amount so now he is you thyroid right 
so patient can be hypothyroid how patient was given treatment for hyperthyroidism in the form of thyroidectomy and radio iodine therapy and later on he is being replaced with thyroxine but that is inadequate replacement that is why he is hypothyroid right and uh, patients can be hyperthyroid still how like he was hyperthyroid graves disease he was treated with thyroidectomy and radio iodine therapy and he was replaced with thyroxine now thyroxine is replaced more excess thyroxine so he has he is hyperthyroid right so after making the diagnosis this is important to know and to tell the examiner what is the status of patient like still he is euthyroid he is hypothyroid or he is hyperthyroid right so this is important and uh, you should know what are the other causes for proptosis uh, just i will tell you the differential and uh, these are graves disease number 1 remember cavernous sinus thrombosis orbital cellulitis retroorbital tumor or granuloma and trauma right and uh, so this was uh, all about graves disease please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you